This is cabbage. It's just roughly chopped. It's going to make soup, so I don't need to do a lot to it. Here's the rest of the cabbage is in there. I'm going to put the other part of it in now. Okay, so all the cabbage is in there, and you can see how it's going down as it's heating up. So I've got two quarts of broth in there. I've got the cabbage in there. I just put some adobo, which is some seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and add a can of tomato paste, six ounce can. And then I'm going to add some garlic, pepper, salt, onion, and some jalapenos just because we like it hot. And I think I might put in a few uh, red noodle beans in there just for a pop of color. And before I mix this all up, I'm going to go ahead. I have about a cup of the beans, the red noodle beans, and about half a cup of the jalapenos. And these are freeze dried. I'm go ahead and put that in there just for a pop of color. It doesn't need to be in there, but I like the extra color. I'm going to mix it up, and we may need some more broth. Once I get this mixed up, we'll see what it looks like. And then I'm going to just let it boil for a few minutes, and... I'm gonna let it boil for a few minutes and then we will go ahead and lower the heat and let it simmer. And this is what's for dinner. And I think I'm going to make, hmm, not sure what I'm gonna make to go with it actually. I chose to put the adobo seasoning in here but you could also use parsley, paprika, thyme, and oregano, or whatever combination of spices you like. I normally use the, I, well, not normally, I just vary it. Sometimes I do the adobo, just because it's just a little bit different taste to the spice, and then sometimes I go ahead and do the list I just gave you. So it just varies, it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. But also, I forgot to mention earlier, I do have some ground beef that's going to go in here, but the ground beef is canned, so it's cooked, so it just needs to warm up. So when, when the soup only has like 10 minutes left to go, I'll go ahead and add the ground beef in there. I'm going to go ahead and let it boil for like two or three more minutes, and then I'm going to simmer it. I'm going to put the ground beef in. And y'all probably have watched this video. I made this ground beef with y'all. It's only been it's only been three months. But it's ready to go. You know, I didn't have to thaw it out or anything like that. So it's very convenient. This is what the top looks like. I just removed the lid. And that's just what it looks like. And that's just, even though... I browned it and I try to remove as much of the fat as possible. That's the little bit of fat that was left there and that's perfectly okay. I'm just stirring it in. I just put the ground beef in there. I'm just stirring it and I'm gonna go ahead and let it simmer for another 10 minutes or until whenever we're ready to eat. Looks good, smells great. And you saw how I just did the cabbages just in big chunks. And they, they just separate as they cook and they soften up. Alright y'all, I almost forgot to do a video. I've already been eating. But look at that. It looks really good and it is absolutely delicious.